Bo from Bo in the Fifth Column talking, and now we go to Larry Serrano. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> Bo is back. <laughs> Bo in the Fifth Column. Uh, Ken, as I pointed out previously when you had a, ran one of his reports, he's a Southern white guy who has admitted purposely exaggerating the Southern accent to convince people out there that he could be a white Southerner and not be bigoted. So, you know, consider the source, the consider his credibility on that. The content However, the yeah, but what I'm saying is, if a guy is phony like that, you have, you have to wonder how accurate his depiction is, and I'll get into that now. Despite what I said about him, it's an intriguing analysis, actually, that they're going to present her as a centrist, and they're writing off the left progressive vote. Now, I don't know if that's the right formula, because they're depending on the left and the progressives to add enough uh, with the centrist vote to put Biden over the top. So I don't know if that's going to work. And as far as presenting him as a moderate, uh, presenting her as a moderate, I, you know, I, I don't know. The, the uh, Trump ads are already uh, depicting her as a phony, two-faced and all that, because even though she was prided herself on hard prosecutions when she was the Attorney General uh, of California, they're already talking about uneven prosecutions, not locking up serious offenders, but going after marijuana smokers and not going after any of the priests in the sexual abuse scandal. So, you know, whether her record stands up to being a hardcore prosecutor, law and order, uh, I, I think that's up in the air. And in her acceptance speech yesterday with Biden, she didn't condemn violence. She endorsed BL, uh, Black Lives Matter. She talked about inequities in the justice system, even though supposedly she was a big proponent for the existing justice system. And, and don't forget, she ripped apart Biden in those debates. So I think whether they could present her successfully as a moderate, I think is open to question. Uh, and, you know, the, as I said, the ads are already running now where, you know, she's a phony, two-faced, this and that. They're going to bring up all these contradictions. And so what do you think? I mean, what do you think about, about the rollout itself? Uh, actually, <clears throat> they were both very good in, in, in their acceptance speeches. Now, of course, it was from a teleprompter. But, you know, right. Biden looked um, energetic. He looked forceful. Yeah. He was convincing. Yeah. Yeah. He did surprisingly well, and so did she. Now, if you're an uninformed voter and you don't know the backgrounds of both Biden and, and Harris, it sounds pretty good, you know, their message about what they're going to do for America. But as I say, you know, there's going to be vicious ads against her. They're going to be showing her saying one thing one year dur and during the primaries, another thing now. So, again, I don't know if they're going to be able to sell her as a moderate. But they, they, the acceptance speeches were very good. I mean, do you think that this was the one person that Trump probably didn't want to be on the ticket? Well, he, he's, saying that, he, that? That, he's saying that in terms of uh, somebody to defeat, uh, she was his first choice. <laughs> he, 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 he was, she was his first choice because he thinks it's easy to uh, undermine what he calls right. phoniness. So I, mean, I think he's a little disingenuous, don't you think? I don't know, Kent, because again, you know, the way they're going to depict her, and yeah, you know, they've got her on tape during the during the debates with Biden. You know, she, they're going to what they're going to do. One of, one of the ways they're going to show her hypocrisy is they're going to get a clip from her glowing acceptance speech. What a great guy Biden is. Then they're going to show him show her ripping him apart in the in the uh, debates in the primary debates, and then also uh, she's on tape saying that she believed the women who were accusing Biden of inappropriate uh, touching and other activities towards them. It's on tape. They're already showing it on Fox where she says, yes, she believes those women. Yet in her acceptance speech, Biden's a great guy. So they're going to show all these contradictions. So again, I don't know if this strategy is going to work with her as a moderate and as a truthful person. Well, you know, uh, in an earlier piece on the broadcast, I don't know if you saw it, but Chris Wallace was saying that, uh, you know, in two weeks, three weeks, all this, the VP stuff will be forgotten and we'll, the battle will become between, uh, you know, uh, Biden and Trump, as, as, as usually what happens in campaigns. That's so the I think you might be right about that. Well, that's the conventional wisdom. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this isn't a conventional choice for VP because, again, as I've said before, because she is so vigorous and forceful, it's such a contrast to Biden 
that it's going to be constantly bringing up the question, and Fox is going to be hammering this home, that who are you voting for, for president? Uh, for B- sleepy Joe Biden, who's not all there, or for Kamala Harris, who will actually be the next president? So they're going to be harping on that. So I don't think the fact that she's going to fade because she's only the second uh, on the ticket, that you know, vice presidents don't matter. I think just the opposite in this case. What about, uh, do you think uh, Trump has any incentive now to maybe get rid of Pence and uh, find a woman to uh, run, run, run with? Or is it I, I, don't think, uh, I don't think so, because uh, Pence has worked for him. And don't forget, Pence has been going out in, in the boondocks and everywhere else about you know, pumping up uh, Trump and going to the, the, the states where, where it's going to matter most. So, no, I, I think he's solid with Pence. I mean, there's no indication. If he did that now... I think it'd be a detriment to him because people would see, yeah, too late. They'd see that as a as a purely cynical political move. So I don't I don't think Pence is going to go anywhere. Yeah. All right, sir. Well, we'll talk again tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what's see what's up. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.